Hey guys, so it is really early in the morning. It is around 5 a.m. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to go from Panama to Colombia. And I'll try my best. This will probably be like a two-part video, like part one, part two of how to cross into Colombia. Uh, right now I'm going to a hostel, and from that hostel I'm gonna take a shuttle to Carti. All right, so the first step you gotta do is whatever hotel or hostel you're staying at, or even if you're not staying at one, just call one up. And what you gotta do is reserve a shuttle that will take you to Carti. Carti is a city on the Caribbean side of uh, Panama. So that runs around 25 to 30 dollars. And that's the first step. You tell them where you are and they'll pick you up from there. So here I tell them to come to Casco Viejo to a hostel here, because that's very eccentric. Everybody knows where it is. So. But yeah, I think like people that go to the San Blas Islands take a boat here to the islands, I guess. And all of these people are waiting for it. So as you guys can see, there's a bunch of transportation that brings you here. These are the ones that you pay $25 and they bring you here. So right off the bat, there's two things that I did wrong. And the first one is that I don't have any supplies. All these people are coming with water and groceries. They didn't bring anything. Like look at this. So that's the first thing I did wrong. The second one is like, so no water, no, no food. I didn't buy Dramanine, the seasickness pills. So that's very important to bring seasickness pills. Uh, I actually went around and I asked people, people coming back. So some girl gave me like a whole box of pills. So I got lucky there. And I'm gonna take a boat from here to an island called Iwana. Iwana is an island, like a touristy island. There's some boats that go to Colombia. So hopefully it's one of them that comes out. Otherwise I have to stay there, I have to stay there one night until tomorrow morning. So all of these boats are taking people to the islands, to all of the San Blas Islands. The amount of trash here. Pretty much what happened is I just went from the mainland to an island, which is really close to the mainland. And then from here, a lot of the boats come through here before they go to Colombia. I have to wait till tomorrow morning for the boat to leave to Colombia. It's gonna be $115. And then once I get to Colombia, it's a small port in Colombia. That's where the immigration is. And then once I do that, I have to take another boat to Turbo. Well, and a boat to another island, and then from that island to Turbo. So all of this I'll write it down in the description, so you guys know exactly what islands I'm staying at. But to tell you the truth, guys, all you have to do is come to the islands and just wait for a boat, which they come out every every single morning. So you don't even have to wait that much. And the stay here is five dollars, five dollars a night. It's pretty shitty, but it's really cheap. Or you could go stay and wait at one of the nicer islands, which is like thirty-five dollars. Whichever, whatever you want. So all the way over there is where I came from and just went from there over here. It was like 20 minutes. It only cost me $5. It was only $5 because I, this island is really close to the mainland. If you go to the other islands, it's like $10, $15, depending how far they are. There's a lot of people here for being an island. Every single space is taken with houses, so I'm pretty sure that's why there's that many, like that much trash around. Because there's so many people here. So I crossed the island in what, a minute? There's just people everywhere here. Completely populated, that's for sure. 
So guys, pretty much just gotta wait for this. I already walked the town. Just looked at the sea for like an hour. There's nothing to do, just wait for the boat to come here tomorrow, hopefully. So pretty much what you could have done to get to Colombia is either do what I'm doing, you know, go to the islands and wait for a boat that takes you to that takes you to Colombia. Or you can go to uh, any hostel or any hotel and buy the sailboat package. The sailboat takes you to like three different islands and then it takes you to Cartagena, Cartagena, uh, Colombia. The difference is that this is this is gonna cost me like two hundred dollars max, and the sailboat is like five hundred dollars up to five fifty. So this is way cheaper. And the only thing about it is that you just gotta wait, and that's it. Let's go!